Welcome to lesson two, coding with drone blocks. This lesson is really exciting. We're going to get into the nuts and bolts of how we code our drones for autonomous flight. That's right, we're going to be getting into the good stuff, the flying. That's actually how drone blocks and drones have been taking classrooms by storm all over the world. You're able to teach students to code and align with some of your STEM curriculum with robots that fly. What a time to be alive and what a time to be an educator. Now, there are several ways that your Telo can fly. You can do manual controls, or you can program it with block coding, use a simulator, JavaScript, Python, etc. What we're going to do in lesson two is we're going to touch on all of those. So let's jump into our objectives. Objectives. By the end of this lesson, you're going to be able to do the following. You're going to be able to connect to your Telo drones and update to the latest firmware. You're going to be able to fly a mission with some block coding. We're going to fly in a square. We're then going to fly in a square in the simulator and keeping the square theme. We're going to then fly in a square in JavaScript. And then lastly, we're going to get our drones to fly in Python. So all you need to do, get a mobile device that we can use to download the Telo app that we'll need to update the firmware, grab a drone or two, and meet me in the next video.